um, I had an experience a couple of years ago. Well, at this point, it's I think it was like 2014, so many years ago, where uh, a local recorder player, Aldo Abreu, and um, Barrett Strong, a local guitar player, had agreed to play a piece that I'd written. And, you know, we had met at his house and they played through the entire thing and it was great and fantastic. And he's like, oh, well, have you thought about doing it in Baroque pitch? And so he got out his 415 soprano recorder and she tuned down to 415 and they played it. And it was like, <gasps> same notes, same players, same tempi. Um, he had a different instrument, but, you know, same professional quality instrument. But it just sounded so warmer and so more chocolatey. <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it. And so that's when I really started writing specifically for for historical instruments. You know, it's if I have a chance to get a cellist to play a piece or I have a chance to have a viola da gamba play a piece, a bass viola da gamba, I'm going to go for the viola da gamba because that the timbre of it and being able to play in 415 mm -hmm. instead of, I mean, 440 is bright and wonderful and exciting. And that's why orchestras, I think in the 18, late 1800s, early 1900s, somewhere in the annals of time, they decided in Europe and in, in the U.S. to to settle on that being tuning pitch because it's bright, it fills halls, it's it's very exciting. But I like that more intimate, um, little bit darker, chocolatey sound of the 415. Mm -hmm. It is more. It is. It's great for chamber music for for playing things that are intimate and in a smaller space instead of a big concert hall. So 